Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the Body Reset Nation. Today is day number 15 of my food vacation, and I want to do something a little bit different. Celebrate day number 15. Come outside. Been a little under the weather, as you guys know, and uh, I mustered up enough strength to come out here to really, um, one of my favorite places is just near water. If I'm near water, I feel great to look at the turtle and turtles and all the little wildlife that runs through here, deer and all that. And, and this is a part of my reset, not just losing weight, um, but this is just a part of my life. And um, one of my dreams is to travel the world, seeing some of the most beautiful oceans, landscape, mountains, you know, you name it, beaches. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. That's what I'm doing. You know, the last couple of days has been kind of rough just because I was a little under the weather. And, uh, but I'm still just amazed by uh, this process of now that I'm not eating, I really don't want to eat. And I'm not even hungry. And I was feeling this way before the sickness came. And uh, I'm still that way now. Um, I weighed myself this morning, um, 282 with holding the camera, without the camera, 181, five. And so, uh, 282, I'll take that. I have uh, 79 more pounds to go. And yesterday, you know, some wanna know, what do you eat? You know, do I just water fast? Like, nah, I do smoothies and low, low glycemic, low sugar drinks and stuff like that if I can. Water, a lot of water, uh, a lot of, Pedialyte things with um, electrolytes in it. Um, but mostly it's just chilling. Sometimes I have soup or a broth. Yesterday I had a bottle of chicken broth. Um, all in all, I might have consumed probably 500 calories yesterday, 600 calories, if that. Um, I don't need it right now. So I'm happy about that. More happy about this though, looking out here. Seeing this, man, this is beautiful, right? So again, y'all know I ain't no doctor, no physician, this ain't no medical advice. I'm documenting my prog my progress, my journey. Um, I'm watching, I'm seeing um, my body just slowly but surely melt away. Slowly but surely, I can feel it in my, the way my pants fit, the way, you know, my shirts are falling, my, my gut, my, um, the inflamed body is starting to just go down. I can see it in my face. I can just see it everywhere. And it's just slowly but surely. And I think when I first started doing this, when I first started weighing myself, I think it was like, I don't know if it was 293, 295, but that was on day five, I believe, when I weighed myself the first time, I think. And so um, I'd already been doing it for about a week before I weighed myself the very first time. So I, I was probably around 300. And that was two weeks ago. So I, I would probably, if I had to guess, I probably lost about, I, I'm gonna call it abandoned. I probably abandoned about 15 pounds so far in 15 days, give or take. Um, yeah, so that's a good thing. Um, one thing that I, I love, and I remember hearing um, when I used to watch a lot of Dr. Sebi videos, was he used to talk about the phlegm and stuff that starts coming up. And boy, has that been happening. You know, the mucus, he called it, the mucus would come up and he had to spit out. He said, you could start feeling the mucus coming up your um, throat and your head. And guys, that is a real thing. Like I can literally feel the mucus coming up out of my chest. I can just feel it wanting to be expelled. And that's, that's if you study mucus and how that impacts us and how that impacts people that are sick, it's a big deal. So that's happening. Got up this morning. Again, I don't mean to gross y'all out, but um, I want I want y'all to know what's happening. I want myself, I want to document this so I can have it. But, you know, this morning, you know, again, my body got rid of some waste. And it's, again, I'm just totally amazed. 15 days after eating my last piece of solid food, my body is still pushing out solid waste. And boy, that really leads us in to talk about gut, gut health. And how, how our gut 
really does impact our immune system. I really wish I had started this fast, you know, about a month or so before I did, because I think I would have got a head start on this, this season right here. Um, they call it flu season and all the other stuff. I would have really, I probably wouldn't be sick right now, because I remember when I was doing this five years ago, the two or three years that I was really serious about it, I never got sick. But I just started this a little bit too late. But um, I, I, I know that, you know, having a, a healthy gut, it really impacts the immune system. And having a gut that's not just protruding and having a body that's not inflamed. I mean, to be able to go to bed and not have major pain in your body, like literally I don't have any pain in my body. My feet aren't hurting, my knees aren't hurting, my legs aren't hurting. I don't feel swole, it, you know, uh, swollen. You know, day by day by day, I see my body just coming back to place. And sometimes you can touch your body, you can tell that ain't nothing but fluid or that ain't nothing but irritation. It ain't got nothing to do with your your weight or you being big. It's just the, the body being inflamed. And because a lot of times we're allergic to some of these foods and a lot of that stuff is going on. And uh, so I'm just happy to be here and to be able to share my story and hopefully inspire somebody to go and talk to their doctor or go take control of their own health. Um, Everybody's not gonna do it like me. I know everybody's not gonna do it like me. Everybody's not gonna, you know, stop eating to get better, to feel better. But whatever process you choose, I hope it's best for you. And um, this right here is what's happening for me. So, love y'all, do. And um, stay connected. If you haven't yet, sub the channel, The Body Reset Nation, and even follow me on TikTok if you're over there. Body Reset Nation. Till next time, I'm Antonio. I'm coming for you, 203. I'm coming for you. 203 pounds, I'm on my way. Only 79 more pounds to go. Yep, it's done. Peace.